The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode will tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Waterloo. Amidst COVID-19, governments around the world are releasing prisoners in large numbers. The numbers might be large, but the phenomenon of releasing prisoners during critical events is not new. For example, during the 1830s cholera pandemic, England's Wakefield prison released 75 prisons to relieve overcrowding and slow the spread of the disease. During the 1918 influenza pandemic, naval officials in Boston offered pardons to prisoners if they agreed to undergo medical experiments. In most cases, however, prisoners were forced to remain in custody with disastrous results. To celebrate the Allied victory in World War II, Joseph Stalin released more than 600,000 prisoners from the Gulag. And when South Africa dismantled apartheid in the early 1990s, many political prisoners including Nelson Mandela were released. Early release of prisoners happens through legal instruments called clemency measures that reduce or revoke punishments. People in executive positions usually have the power to grant clemency. While governments celebrate these releases as a sign of their humanity, often these acts are based on political rather than humanitarian motivations. Governments will often release prisoners when it's beneficial to them or when they are under pressure from activists and the public. Leaders often attempt to deflect criticism, improve their image and reinforce their power by controlling the release of prisoners. Historically, prison releases have been isolated acts and have not fundamentally changed the prison itself. In the past year, for example, many are calling for the mass release of non-violent indigenous offenders in Canada. The call continues during COVID-19, and it relates to a wider effort to reduce the overrepresentation of indigenous people in our prisons. Could the COVID-19 releases be a step towards widespread decarceration? The pandemic is certainly giving us an important opportunity to critically think about prisons in our society and possibly spark systemic change. This story was adapted from Catherine Bruce Lockhart's conversation article How Politics Have Played a Big Role in the Release of Prisoners. Bruce Lockhart is a University of Waterloo history professor.